The Ian Gary saga continues just when he gets a win, just when he gets fans appreciating him just a little bit. I know he's had a big level of hate train over here, but Ian Gary has just been humiliated by his wife online. I want to take a look at the video. We're going to take a look at a bunch of replies from the MMA community. As always, guys, I would love to know what you guys think about the situation down below afterwards. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's take a look, and this is where I personally found the video first over from the MMA Guru's Twitter. Oh my god, it's a full video. Ian Gary's wife really made sure the world got to see this one. That creepy, unsure smile. Had him singing and dancing for her to let him back in the house. Why did she need to show the whole world this video? Humiliating. Poor Ian. And of course, this is the video that has been making the rounds of the MMA community the last little bit. Let's check out the video together, and I know before you say it, I have to pause throughout or I'm not allowed to use it, okay? And I should have said this first. When you've argued and he still thinks he's in the right, but he knows he's wrong, but he's not entirely sure, but he's still mad, but he does love you at the same time. Actually, we're going to mute the video because it's just a bunch of music. I'm going to want to get copyrighted over here. So it's Ian Gary with flowers, and I don't know what else is down here. It's a gift, it looks like. I don't, or either that or balloons. Ian Gary is smiling, wants to be let in the house, and... What Lay and her name is Layla, right? And I think he's kind of sorry. Maybe she posted this on her Instagram for the world to see. Ian Gary is locked out of the house, and I want to know what they argued about. First of all, like I don't know. Ian Gary is, you know, what's weird about it too is he looks like he he's not really bothered by the fact that she's getting ready to post his online or videoing him like if first of all i was about to say if this is happening to me but i would never be in a situation where my wife would be locking me out of my own house <laughs> and then let alone because okay let's say that did happen for whatever reason you wouldn't catch me dead sitting down there with flowers being like oh maybe can you please let me in the house like he seems unbothered by it he doesn't even like look like he's really feeling shame from this, which is very, very strange. And this is making me, look at him, look at him. He looks like he's making a little bit of a game out of it, right? He's dancing along to the music, please let me in, all that type of stuff. And this is where, because everybody talks about Ian Gary being a cuck, right? And it's looking like he is a cuck, but of course, it's not a hard, we don't have hard evidence of Ian Gary actually sitting in the corner, right? Or Layla actually having the nutritionist boyfriend. It seems like that's the case, but of course, we don't know for sure. This actually made me believe it even more because for people to kind of be into that stuff, I guess there is a humiliating aspect of it. So it looks like he's like, I don't want to say he's straight up enjoying this, but I mean, look at his face. Does he look bothered to you? I'm being complete. I'm not even memeing. Does he look bothered to you? He doesn't look bothered to me. That's crazy. When you've argued and he still thinks he's right, but he kind of knows he's wrong, but he's not entirely sure, he's still mad, but he does love you at the same time. That is absolutely insane. And it goes to show again, like, we're losing more men every day to these guys. Like, man, I don't understand. Like, Ian Gary, you could be on top of the world, dude. You could be on top of the world. And you're letting, I have to be careful, you're letting your girl treat you like that. Dude, you should boot her out of that house, man. Like, uh, like it really, really makes me believe the cuck stuff. I'm not even joking with you guys right now, but let's just not take a look at what I have to say. Let's take a look at a bunch of top replies, not just from this initial tweet, but just other tweets in general talking about this video. Let's see. Okay. Let's take a look at the top reply over here from basic. Any woman that makes her man look like a bitch on the internet because she finds it funny should be ashamed of themselves. Why disrespect your own man in front of the world like that? Absolutely insane. She gets off on it, man. We live in a world where now people like this can get on the power trips and she can get away with it. And she's also 41. 41 still needs to grow up. I don't understand why we live in a world today where any men tolerate that. Especially someone that, like, and I know, like, I'm not looking at Ian Gary and thinking, like, a dude, like, that's above me, okay? Uh, but he is obviously more successful than I am. To have somebody on that level of success be treated like that by a girl is crazy. And it's not, like, the fact that he's being treated like that by a girl. Don't take me out of context like that. But just, like, the lack of self-respect, man. And I don't understand, too, as Ian Gary's wife, why would you do that to your own husband? I completely agree with this tweet. Anyone who makes her man look like that, look like a bitch on the internet because she finds it funny, should be ashamed of themselves. It's disgusting behavior. It's toxic behavior. And you're letting, like, you're letting her get some clout over you. It's crazy. Excuse me, my phone. I just don't, I, I can't imagine tolerating that. I really can't. Let's continue on to another reply. Can someone remind Ian that he's a professional fighter? What the hell did I just watch? That's exactly what I'm talking about. And 
it's not to the point like where this reply is, where this reply is I don't agree with that so she should superman punch her instead he said yes I don't agree with that but somebody like needs to remind Ian the status level that he's at in the world right now he could be loved if he didn't copy Conor McGregor and if he didn't let his wife treat him the way that she treats him he could be on top of the world because he's an exciting fighter he has not the it factor obviously but he has the potential to be loved among the entire world and he also could get literally probably like with the cash that he's getting he could probably get any girl that he wants i don't understand why he's choosing leia and i don't understand like that really the only thing that clicks in my head is he found a girl that is into the cock stuff let's continue on over to the next post oh god colby gonna have a field day with this one unfortunately we haven't seen anything with colby coming to because colby actually was quite funny when it came to ian gary i found that video hilarious when he posted it but Colby Covington just needs to fight. Colby Covington needs to do a little bit more than talk, but it's true. I would love this. <laughs> I'd love to see Colby's response to that. Let's continue on to Burned Potato. Wait till he's 35 years old and she is 50. He'll be dating a grandma and regretting every second. This is the weird thing that I can't really imagine with the people dating somebody like way older than them. I understand there being a little bit of an age gap, and I understand like what seems to be proper is the man to be a little bit older than the woman. But 35 and 50 is actually like a really big jump. I don't know if this is exactly what they're going to be, but it's true. Like Ian Gary can have any girl that he wants. Why choose Leia? Why choose the one who will lock you out of your own house? I'm assuming that's Ian Gary's house. Why would you have somebody where you lock you out of your own house and then film you for the internet to see? I do not understand. Let's take a look at Alan Yaxel and what he had to say. Women prey on your weakness. If you don't respect yourself, they won't either. This is entirely true. Ian Gary must not respect himself because that's that's unfortunately the reality of the world. Women like this especially, or just women in general, will prey on any man's weakness. There's a reason why, after so much time, especially nowadays, young men are kind of taught, and if they're taught by somebody proper, they're taught to kind of keep to yourself, don't lash out, be in control of your own emotions, don't let a girl see your weakness. It's something that has to be told to a lot of young men today is, don't cry in front of her. There's a reason for that, because they will always use it against you let's continue on to another post to see what they had to say oh i actually feel bad for him she's laughing at him maybe this is fake it's not fake there's no way it's faked after everything that we've seen over here and what's unfortunate about it is so many guys are okay with being treated like this so many guys are and this is another issue it might be a corn addiction type thing and i have to use corn because of course we're on the youtube platform right now so many guys have such a bad corn addiction that they will do anything because they are so addicted to lust they don't care. They will go through the worst women. They will go with the ugliest women just because they are so addicted to lust and want to get anything that they can. And their self-respect just completely flies out that window to the point where you also you also end up being maybe <laughs> – I'm trying to be safe for YouTube over here. If you have a certain addiction to corn, then – you will constantly need to change up the types of things that you're watching. You'll need stuff more shocking. You'll need things that maybe you aren't supposed to be, you know, pleasuring yourself to until you get to a point. And this is why so many men end up falling into the cuck thing, falling into the fendom thing, where you get to the point where you get aroused by a girl laughing at you. You get aroused by a girl mistreating you and something that's completely unnatural. That's honestly a possibility for somebody like Ian Gary. It's a possibility because... I don't understand how anybody could be okay with this. Being posted online by your wife, laughing at you, laughing. It's unbelievable to me. It's got to be one of those things. He's got to be into it. That's what I like. And I know we've memed about like different fighters and what they're like, but it's true. Like I, I, I kind of feel bad for him. But then again, like did, let me bring you over to the original thing. Let's play it again. Does he look bothered to you? Does he look bothered? No, might be a game to him. Might be a game to him. He's willing to sacrifice his self-respect in order to, you know. Like, I don't look at it as an unsure smile or anything like that. I look at it as like, Ian Gary kind of is enjoying the treatment right now. You know, make it a little game. Let's continue on to Unhinged. How good can the pussy possibly be? That's the only other reason for Ian <laughs> being kind of normal and appreciating this i agree with the comment not this good it's never worth it i don't care how good it is i don't care how nice of an opportunity you have ahead of you you never let somebody treat you like this i don't understand i agree with that first comment man like can somebody remind ian that he's a professional fighter like i don't mean and don't take me out of context i don't mean that in the sense where you should go fight her i mean like 
remind Ian to the level of status in this world that he is, the amount of money that he has. He can have anybody, anybody that he wants, yet he still chooses this girl. It doesn't make sense. I would understand the backlash, and I understand Ian Gary defending himself just to the not-so-random, but the rumors about the nutritionist. I understand talking about that and saying, you guys don't know, like, maybe it's a different situation. It very well could be. I doubt it, but I'm not saying that as hard evidence. This makes me believe it more. I, I feel bad, and I don't. It just makes me sad that the world we're in today just kind of actively promotes this stuff because you know that Layla's friends are absolutely encouraging her to do this. You know that she's showing this to her friends, and they're all laughing at Ian together. And the thought that Ian might like it, it just shows how backwards the men of our culture are today. It's crazy to me. This world is going completely downhill, guys. It's sad. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Check out this other video, taking a look at some recent Twitter drama in the MMA community. I would love to have you guys over there. Take care, everybody.